Okay, what I wanted to talk about uh, today, I've watched this advertisement. It's been on TV for a while here. This is up in the Northwest. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this thing, at least parts of it. Drive to reduce carbon emissions. Our region should rely on our existing natural gas infrastructure to deliver reliable energy solutions. Let us show you how. Renewable hydrogen can be produced with electricity from excess wind, solar, and hydro energy that would otherwise go to waste and then be distributed via existing natural gas infrastructure. Renewable hydrogen acts like battery storage for excess power, capturing the energy and storing it for when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining. Europe, Canada, and the Biden administration are all investing in renewable hydrogen. This kind of bothers me. They're talking about natural gas, which I've worked in natural gas for the last I don't know, 35, 40 years. I'm not getting into the environmental quality and, and sort of that sort of thing. I mean, natural gas is going to have to make way uh, for things that uh, are not fossil fuels. But uh, these guys are talking about, you know, generating natural gas from uh, cow manure and stuff like that. I, you know, I don't think that's going to do much. There's not a whole lot of that out there. But what bothered me on this thing is when they started talking about putting hydrogen in the existing natural gas pipelines. Now they kind of gloss over it a bit, but I did a little research on this and what I've come up with and you have to accept this from me. I'm a service tech and teacher. I'm not big time scientist. I'm not big time engineer. Nothing like that. But this tends to bother me because they're thinking about putting hydrogen gas in the natural gas pipelines. Now, probably how they would start out, they'd put about 5% in and then they would put up to 20%. And then there's talk about it being all hydrogen. Well, you're going <laughs> to, there's some issues with, with all those things. But what my biggest concern is, the infrastructure we use now for natural gas, I don't believe it's suitable for hydrogen. Even if they're going to put 5% hydrogen in. Understand, a gas will leak through, you know, fittings and so on like that, depending on how big it is, how large the molecule is. The H2 molecule is the smallest one out there. Um, and you can see I've got some natural gas components there and what, uh, what makes up natural gas. And they're all much bigger. The thought of someone putting hydrogen even at five percent uh, you know hydrogen it's it's a separate gas it's going to leak out on its own so putting that through a uh, wrought iron pipe uh, that was pipe doped 50 60 years ago and assembled I, I don't have a real problem with the with the pipe type fittings, the black pipe fittings that we've been using for so long, they're actually pretty good. But I'm not sure they're so good with hydrogen. And say, well, okay, they, they let's say they start out and put 5% hydrogen in this mix with natural gas to the pipeline. Well, the hydrogen is very possibly going to leak out. I mean, leaks were my biggest problem with natural gas. The whole time I had it, you know, you're always a little bit on pins and needles when you put something together and you, you want to make sure that there's no leak. Well, with hydrogen, there's a lot more chance of it leaking. On the good side that I can think of right now, hydrogen is also a very light gas, so it tends to dissipate. Things like propane are heavier than air, so they go down and they lay in the bottom. That's worse. But hydrogen is going to leak much faster than natural gas would. And 
I've got some stuff on flammability here too that kind of bothers me. Uh, hydrogen, very broad flammability range, 4%, 4% in an atmosphere. It just dumps out between 4% and 74% concentration in air, it will ignite. And for the most part, nitrogen is even worse than natural gas for explosions. It goes kaboom really easy. Okay, 4% to 74%. Now let's compare that to natural gas. Natural gas has a flammability range of 5 to 15%. Okay, 5% is natural gas to 15% is natural gas. Above that, it will not ignite. So, with hydrogen being so excessively flammable and the possibility of leaks in, uh, in the system, this bothers me. And I, I mean, even just coming up and advertising something, oh, we're just going to run it through our natural gas system. Another thing, you can't odorize hydrogen. You can odorize natural gas, and it, normally natural gas does not smell. But they put an odor in it before it goes out to the pipeline or to the dis distribution lines. Uh, nitrogen won't accept a uh, uh, an odor. It just won't. You can't be odorized. And here again, we go back to this little thing. Okay, uh, we're going to have 5% or 20% or something of the uh, uh, gas in the gas line is hydrogen. The hydrogen could be leaking the entire time, and you'd never know it. Now, I'm not saying you can't use it. I, I kind of think the nitrogen thing is kind of a... Uh, it's kind of silly. I, I don't think it's really going to be viable uh, for widespread use, but, you know, maybe. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't sound like it to me. I think the public needs to be far more reassured about this before they ever put any of that stuff into a natural gas pipeline. Now, that's just my opinion, just a dumb service tech, but, boy, this one bothers me. Leaks have always bothered me with natural gas. And this one, I'm not sure you could stop the leaks. And if you put it into those lines, many of those lines are going to leak. Uh, I've had... Uh, God. Okay, give you a little example. If you take a piping system, say in a house, and you go to add some piping to it. You have to pressure test the entire house, so the entire piping system of the house. Whenever I've done that, probably 80% of the time, I've had leaks. Not where the new pipe was put in, but where the old pipe was. Uh, and I, most of the time I could just take the assemblies apart and redope them and they'd be fine. But that tells you a little something about these old piping systems. Are they really going to hold up and then we put hydrogen in them? You know, just a few things I, I'm throwing out there. Any comments? Great. Somebody knows a lot more about it. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but it don't sound too good to me. That's it on this one.